Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Spotted this one in the British Heart Foundation in Kingswood. £1.99 and I bought it to take it apart really. Just looked like a bit of fun. It's not a powered one or anything like that. It's not even, not even a pullback one. What it is is one that makes noises. So it looks like we've got a siren. I don't know what the handcuffs do. Loudspeaker from the looks of it. I'm not sure what that one is. It's actually New Year's Eve at the moment, so you can probably hear fireworks going off outside. Anyway, it doesn't do much at the moment. Just got a tiny flicker from an LED there. So we'll change the batteries and see what it does. Argos, that's one of the shops. Scientific Toys Limited. Okay, we'll take it, well, we won't take it apart yet, we'll just swap the batteries first. I was quite interested looking at the body shell in the charity shop. Because I could see that we've got adjustable positions here, so this body shell can be used on different chassis, and this chassis can be used on different body shells. And I'm pretty sure one of the other cars that I bought recently will fit within the same body shell. We'll have a look at that later. Okay, so makes a police siren noise. You're under arrest. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. Stop struggling. <laughs> You're under arrest. Put your hand behind your back. Stop struggling. Well, that's it. That's the four different sounds. Headlights flash in sympathy. Hasn't, hasn't got any reverse lights or back lights. So it's just the light cluster on top and the headlights. Oh, and lights underneath. Okay, so. That's what it does. It makes sounds. We'll just take it apart so we can see what we can see. So I was rather interested to see how those buttons work on the back. Well, they're not buttons, they're capacitive sensors, I think. I've got my electric screwdriver out.
Okay, are we ready? So, in there is obviously the batteries and the speaker. If that lifts off. That clips the looks of it. We'll have a look at that in a second. And up under here we've got those are the capacitive coils or sensors. of black blobs or cobs I think they call them circuit on board We've got the wires going to the LEDs they're actually labeled it does say lamp lamp okay. and obviously on the back of there is the wire, or the circuit that goes up to here. Well, in fact, I can see the LEDs that are up there are soldered directly, directly to the board there. There's one LED. Another LED there. In fact, that's it. Just two LEDs. I thought it was more than that. Turn it back on again. working then. This is a bit of silicon and when that is screwed down on it that holds that You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Stop struggling. Holds it tight onto the board. So this is a, there we go, a bit of plastic with the tracks on it. That's held in place. You're under bit of foam. Foam. Silicon. So I was just going to check how many LEDs we had there. And I think it's just two. Yeah, just the two. And they're just soldered directly onto the back of that board. So that's taken it apart. Can we get that plug out? Because I have an idea. Right. right. So that's the chassis. But if we zoom out a bit. You might remember this car that I've been working on. This one was wire controlled and I converted it to, it's actually got hobby grade um, components in there now, or at least hobby grade receiver and servo for the steering. I left the original motor in place. 
But if you look at that, and look at that, they're directly compatible. So if I take this chassis out of here, I can screw it straight, straight into this one. And that's what I'm going to do. I won't be able to use the lights, but I'm just going to screw it in place and see if we can do an instant conversion to radio control. That's the one I converted. So we've got a, a yeah, it's a three-channel receiver. The original electric motor, and we've just got a servo on the front there to do the steering for us. And I reckon that's going to fit. Straight into there. The only thing I'm not sure about is whether we got clearance for the steering. And we might be lucky. Looks pretty close, but I think we're okay. So I'll screw that in place. Oh, it had all these long screws, didn't it? I wonder if I can get away with these shorter ones. doing this because I can. Not that I've got any special need for this one to be radio controlled. Obviously it'd be a bit more fun if I could rig up the sound effects as well, but this is just a straightforward simple conversion. Well there we go, it fits. I'll go and get a LiPo and my transmitter. So there we go, instant RC conversion.
So, job done. We've had a look inside and we've done a quick conversion to radio control. Before we put the chassis back onto the police car, I did say I was going to have a look underneath that lid. So that's all we've got under there. We've got the on-off switch, the battery compartment, so we've got the positive there, negative there. Then we've got the LED strips that do the undercar lighting and the speaker. So that's all that was hidden away under there. And it's just a push fit 